Well, we cheese, begin. yogurt, and milk, they're all great sources of calcium for growing bodies, but for millions of children, these options can be dangerous. Dairy is the number one food allergy for kids. In depth tonight, NBC Bay Area's Vicki Wynn shows us how cutting edge research done here in the Bay Area could help children overcome their symptoms and even reverse the deadly allergy. It's a little touch of being silent. For nine year old Ludovica La Rosa, digging into a dairy treat was not something she ever thought she'd be able to do without breaking out into a rash and swelling up. And unlike many children over age three, she never outgrew her milk allergy. Banana and strawberry. But that changed about a year and a half ago when she enrolled in a Stanford University study. I was excited because I might um, get rid of the allergy and eat every type of food I wanted. It plagues them. They're not able to go to restaurants. They're not able to go on airplanes. They have um, a lot of anxiety around going to the schools. And Dr. Carrie Nadeau helped lead a clinical trial that could revolutionize the way milk allergies are treated. Hives, asthma, throat itching. The children in the study took an allergy drug for nine weeks, then were given milk in increasing amounts. And then by the time 24 weeks came, they had something called a double-blinded placebo controlled food challenge in which we over time over that day give them up to seven grams of the milk powder. That adds up to about a cup of milk huge for kids who couldn't even tolerate a teaspoon before. It gives hope for the fact that we can try to uh, affect change and to give people cures for their food allergy. It's the first study to couple the reintroduction of dairy products along with a specific drug and doctors say it not only eliminated the allergy faster, it did so without an allergic reaction. For the people that we had in the study, they had uh, historically near fatal events to their milk allergens. Ludovica's father says he was concerned about exposing his daughter to something that could hurt her. It has to be, of course, a calculated risk. It cannot be a crazy risk. But in the end, he says it was worth the risk now that Ludovica is no longer allergic to dairy. Who do cows call to help them move? Movers. Vicki Wynn, NBC, Bay Area News. This was just the first phase of the clinical trial. Dr. Nado is hoping to get more grants to do a bigger study. Up next, an odd story from a Bay Area Apple store.